If you would like to know how I created this glittery rainbow eye, please stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, I've done this eye, so we're gonna work on this eye. So I'm gonna be using the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, and I am going to be using a small lip brush to kind of stencil this out. So I'm gonna just start by using this green shade right here that is called Hatter. And I'm going to go in like I would um, for a cut crease and just go right above my crease and kind of stencil this out. Um, I'm really kind of winging it out kind of far on the outer corner. Just because this is kind of more dramatic. And then I'm going to go ahead and take what product I have left on the brush just like a cut crease and put that right above all right so then I'm going to just actually take a tiny bit more of that color And just really making sure that green really shines through. Then I'm going to kind of take my blending brush very lightly. Just kind of blend that out a little. Alright, then I'm just going to use that same brush. And I am going to go into the color um, Heads Will Roll. It's this shade right here. And I am just going to trace over that and do the exact same thing. So what we're doing right now is really just blending up that color. Just building it up and giving it nice strong color and then back to my blending brush just blending that out all right then I'm gonna head and go into this blue shade down here called metamorphosis and I'm just using the same brush because I am just blending all these colors together and then I didn't apply as much of that um, up above the line as I did the green really you can do it however you want I just wanted the shadow part to be more green than anything so all right then um, the last shade I'm gonna use is this darker blue right here that is called Bandersnatch and again I'm just using the same brush and just tracing right over that and just blending some of that up And I don't go back in with any more of that color because like I said, I want the green to kind of hold the power in this look. All right, so then I'm going to go in with a clean shadow brush here and I am going to go in to the color Royal Flush that is a shimmer shade. And I'm going to take that right at my brow bone for a nice brow highlight. And then kind of take my blending brush back and forth between the two. Um, if you're not very good at blending shadows, putting a highlight color can kind of help hide that a little bit. 
So keep that in mind. All right, so now here comes the fun part. Um, every single glitter shade that I, little fall out there, but I still have translucent powder on, so it's not a big deal. Um, every single glitter that I'm using is from NYX. So um, I'm not gonna hold up each individual container, but um, I will list them down below after we're done. So um, as you can see, I have all the same colors down here in my eye that I have on my brow. So we're just gonna do those colors one at a time. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys that for this, rather than, because you have to dip your brush into the adhesive and then into the glitter. Um, I literally have been using paint brushes like this from a craft store um, to do this. Still cleaning them when I'm finished, but that puts a lot less uh, wear and tear on your makeup brushes and these are a lot easier to use for something like this. So just to let you guys know. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. So I am using um, a glitter adhesive. Lots of brands have this. You can use whatever brand you have or what you're into, but I'm gonna be using the wand to the adhesive um, for my brows. So I actually um, have brow product, um, Anastasia Dip Brow, on my brows right now. Um, not like the full product, but some, just so I know how big I want my brows to be with the glitter. So um, you can do that if you want. It just kind of helps me to know how big I want them to be. Um, if you just want them to be the size of your normal brows, you do not have to do that step. I just find it helpful because I do like to make mine a tiny bit bigger than what they actually are. So I'm just packing that glitter onto the adhesive. Um, it sticks immediately, so you don't really have to worry about fallout or anything like that. Um, I know I said I used <laughs> brushes from the paint store for this. I did besides the blue color. So I did the blue and then I was like, oh yeah, craft store brushes would be easier. So blue is the only one I did not use that for. Okay, so then I'm going to just take my brush here into the glue and get it on my brush. And I am going to just take this right under this cut crease line that we have. And trace it with glitter. Um, you may want to do little bits at a time just so that the adhesive doesn't dry before you get the glitter to your face because it does tack up pretty quick. So I'm just going all along that line. Um, if you would rather use the wand that comes with it to apply it, you can, it's just a little bit harder to get that. See how I got the um, adhesive down on my lid? It's a little bit harder to get the glitter to just stay in um, the one spot if you do it like that. But you do your own thing. I need to get a tiny bit more of this blue glitter. There we go. I have glitter everywhere. Okay, so then I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right in to the second color.
Okay, so for the gold, I didn't line with that. I actually just started packing it on my lid. So I'm just going to take my adhesive. On there and then up in my bra here Okay, so once I have the glitter completely placed um, on my brow and on my lid, I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk here. And just to line my waterline. And then I'm going to go back in to the Alice to the Looking Glass palette and take that green shade Hatter again on um, an eyeshadow brush. And just pack that underneath. And then I'm going to go in with the Metamorphosis color over top of that. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. And then I'm going to take a clean blush brush. And just kind of clean this up underneath my eye and dust away that translucent powder. Um, I feel like with this, it's super important to use a translucent powder. If not for baking, for anything other than to just keep the glitter from sticking to your face. Um, just because glitter pretty much sticks to anything. It does not, it does not discriminate what it sticks to. So um, the translucent powder will help that get off of your face. Um... So I want to show you guys now how to kind of clean up the brow if you feel like it's not perfectly lined up. Um, I kind of didn't line this one up on purpose just to show you guys how to clean it up. So let's get into that. So I'm going to take an eyebrow spoolie, um, a clean one preferably, and I'm very light handedly just going to go along where I want to clean that up and barely press and tap it away and just by barely doing this it's just lifting that up um, the adhesive the glitter it's just kind of lifting it up and taking away what I don't want there um, without kind of messing up the whole eye look so it'll give you that shape that you're wanting if you kind of didn't shape it right with the adhesive or if it was your first time doing it um, it can be kind of tricky so um, that's how to clean that up. So for lashes, um, I actually learned today how to kind of make your own glitter lashes. I know it may kind of be hard for you guys to see, um, but I think that I will do a separate tutorial on that 
because I feel like I absolutely love these and I feel like it would be great for just maybe even a normal eye look. So, um, yeah, these are glitter lashes that I made and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to glue my lashes on and I will meet you guys back here. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. I hope that you learned something cool today. Um, let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please do. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.